travelers how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing well please if this is your first time on this channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos So at the beginning of this year, I visited a place I never even knew existed in Douala and I was amazed. This place is an island off the coast of Mabanda in Bonaberry and it is called Mbappe. If you have ever been to Douala, you will know how large the city is. Douala has an area of about 210 km square and a population of over 3.5 million people. The city has six districts, known in French as Arrondissement. Mbappe is found in the Douala city district. I'm always afraid of the water. Each time I, I'm getting into the water, I'm very afraid. I don't know about you. Uh, I'm used to the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of I'm course. I'm of the sea. So. <laughs> we are about to hit the sea and go and see this beautiful island you never knew existed in Cameroon, in Douala precisely. So we are going to Combo and we'll be taking you along. Our journey to Mbappe started at about 10 a.m. because we were told we couldn't visit earlier because the water tides were too high, so we had to wait till 10 a.m. I was honestly shocked at how large Douala is when I got to Mabanda. When we got there, I saw some few canoes, large ones and small ones. We were assigned a canoe and some life jackets were handed to us. I have been on the world's largest cruise ship before, but this was an entirely new experience for me because I could literally touch the water when I got into the canoe. Guys, we are currently in the middle of yeah. the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, yeah. We are blown. <laughs> the journey to Mbappe was quite smooth. It took us about 35 minutes to get there. On our way to Mbappe, I decided to ask some few questions to our captain and tour guides. Okay guys, so I'm right here in the middle of the ocean and we are heading to Combo right here. I have the captains of this beautiful vessel with me on here. And what's your name, sir? Mr. Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel. He's Emmanuel just like myself. So we have three Emmanuels on board. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Franklin. Okay. Franklin and Boris. 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 So I have Emmanuel, I have Franklin oh, and Boris. So yeah. um, Mr. Emmanuel, how do you how do you like doing this? I, I, I like doing the job because the job sustains us for for some time, yes. Okay, so still a move. Yes, okay. so still and, and for how long have you been doing it? I've been doing this for over five years now. Okay, he's been doing yes. this for over five years. Yes. And Boris, how long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been doing it over one year now. Oh, one year? Over a year. Over yes. a year. And frankly, you said you just... Uh, yeah, three, three months. Okay, now. Oh, for three months now. Yeah. All right. So, so far, like, um, what specifically do you guys do? Do you guys just carry people around or you carry, like, uh, food no, stores? No, we transport no. wood. Okay. What we actually do is that we transport wood when at times we will, we will take people from town, we we'll go to with them to those combos those, where you can find the trees there. Mm -hmm. When they cut it now, we we'll go there now, we we'll transport the wood back to Dwar so that they can sell it to people. So that's actually the business we are doing. Okay, so the major yeah. okay, so this business is mostly yeah. wood, wood transportation. Yeah, wood transportation. That's our own part of the business to transport the wood. The wood, yes. Okay. Now the other people they are there to restore to, to saw it and sell it. Okay. Yeah, that's their own part. But our own part of the business is to to, to transport the wood. Yeah. So, but how risky is, is, is it being on this vessel? Have you guys ever had an accident or yes, an incident? At times, we face challenges like those accidents that you actually that you are saying. For instance, there are times that we are coming that they, they, uh, some ships that they are also coming the same direction that we are that we are. We need to hurry up and cross the link that they are to pass so that they can uh, have a free way to pass. But there are times that. We, we find it difficult to pass, even to cross, because the wave that the we wave. come across is not, yes. is not difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. very difficult, yes. Oh, I guess those very big vessels yes, over yeah. there, yeah. those big those vessels ship, over there. Yes, they, those ships that they actually leave the port, they, they, we, we bypass them on our way to, 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 to 
you can call it timber. Oh, okay, yes, okay. Yes. So those big, big vessels that lift yes. a lot of weight yeah, across time. Yeah, yeah. We are coming. Yes. The storm also affects. Yes. The what the storm? The storm. Yes. Oh, Actually, storm. we are also affected by by this weather. The weather it also affects yeah, yeah, because yeah, the there are places that. When we go there, they, we just find it. Because, uh, there is the, a, the, 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 it's a vast opening. That is the water there is too vast, so you cannot see any tree there. So at time when we, we are coming, we face uh, the, the, the cloud now. Where yeah. it's, everywhere we the white, at time we will miss our it direction. The yes, we miss the direction where we are to go. Oh. So those are so some of the challenges the that we face. And our, uh, uh, as a result, we will have shortage of foil. Oh. Coming, coming back now, they will, they will say how we have said, they will, they will, they will say authorities. Oh. <laughs> yeah. those, 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 those are some of the challenges that we are facing uh, in doing the business. But when it's pouring down now, because there's no shade, when it's pouring down heavily, obviously water is getting into the vessel. Yes. What do you guys do? You have to use the, the bucket yeah. to remove yeah. it. There's, yeah. no, it normally, we are, we are going in every uh, uh, canoe or yes. in every boat, there are two captains. Okay. One is to remove the water and the other is to drive. When the other one is tired, the other one can help him. That's okay. how we do. Okay. Yes. So how, what about your training? How long does it take for you, to, for you to be able to be trained to control this vessel? Like approximately how long? I believe you must make about two years there at the beach before you obtain the training. Oh, yes. okay, so you, at the beach, you, you just have to come at the beach and just... Yes, you have to do some one or two things there for other people to see that you are able to do the work, yes. Okay. To see your ability in doing it, yes. Okay. When we got there, I was amazed. The first thing I noticed were the houses and a lot of fish. The houses are constructed with planks and mostly suspends on water. The people of Mbappe are Nigerians from the Ijo tribe, but are governed by Duala. They were so nice to take us around the island, showing us every part of the island. We visited the school and tried the local cuisine. All right, guys, so we're right in here and we're excited. We are going to see the school. Everybody in here is friendly and welcoming, and we want to see what the school looks like. But on our way to seeing the school, there is a church on my right. You know, your guy, your guy is a church boy. Whenever I hear there's a church, I'm addicted to that, so I have to see it. Okay guys, so um, they actually have one church in here and we are right inside the church. It's a Sharafin and Cherubim church, right? Yeah, Cherubim and yes, Sharafin. Right. Cherubim and Cherubim church of Zion. Okay, Cherubim and Cherubim church of Zion in here. Yes. Wow, so how many people do you inside here? About, about how many people do we have in here? This is the men's side. Okay. That is the women's side. Oh, this is, okay, this is the men's section and that's the women's section. Yes. And then I guess that's meant for the pastors and the leaders, I guess. Yes. yes. Okay. So, but it, I see instruments here, yeah, so we'll put generator to play the music of? Yes, generator. Generator? Yes. Do you have service here just Sundays or you have other days? Other days, evening prayer, morning prayer, then Sunday. Okay, all right, wow, wow, wow. And there's a notice board there as well? Yes. Wow. They told us stories about life in Bape and how the island came about. They have a small cafeteria and a restaurant where I tried Tortis for the very first time. If you look at this, you'll see a bing, this bing shape, double bing shape uh, um, stuff. This is like a major organ in the tortoise and the kidneys. So we're actually going to see the quantity of meat that she's getting out of this tortoise. <laughs> so guys, look at the tortoise. Uh, we're actually going now to cook it and get it spicy tasty and you know your guy i don't joke with food i'm going to enjoy this today all to myself mm. guys it's gonna be fun Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, so this is an axe. We usually use it to break the wood. The wood is used to fire, uh, to fuel the fire. Yo guys. <laughs> Oh, the pea soup that is, and I got the best parts. So that's what I'm gonna be eating this afternoon. Enjoying this delicacy over here in Gabe. It's um, it's so, it's so yummy. It's uh, pepperish. It's too spicy. Mm. Mm. I'm actually afraid to eat this. Nah, nah. I'm afraid, afraid to eat this. You know your guy. Something is telling me eat. Hey, Something is telling me don't eat it. No, you have to. Okay. Listen to the voice of don't eat it. The fewer we are, the better. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's so sweet. It's so nice. It's really <laughs> Wow, I feel like it's so yummy that I want to get two of it at the same time. It's like chicken. Yeah. Tastes exactly like chicken. So guys, we are still heading to the school. You can see how narrow the bridge is. Like you have to be very careful because if you miss your steps, oh my God, you are done. So um, actually we have a tall guy, he's taking us to the school. This is what these kids have to go through every day to get to school and we are heading there now. This is the school that we have to walk all the way through the narrow bridges and in order to get here. So it's actually a government primary school. Guess what, what's, what's up with this school? They have just four classes. Primary one, primary two, primary three, and primary four. That's it. Once you get um, above primary four, that's primary five and six, you have to go to the town to continue your education. So right in here, they can offer you just the uh, um, uh, first four years of, of elementary education. And they have just two teachers, two teachers, two classes. So what's happening is that the teachers don't live in this village, they live in town. So the teachers, I heard, they come in segments or in rotations. So what happens is there are times that they'll come in here, stay for one, two weeks, three weeks, and then they'll go back, in, um, go back to town and then spend a week or some few days. Or I heard they can also be here for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and they're not here Thursday and Friday, which means that whenever the teachers are not around, there is no school for that day or for that week. That's what's up. However, the building looks really good. I mean, it looks like a brand new building. I love it. Let's go inside and see what the building has to show us in this room. The very first impression I got is the fact that there is a trash container in here. That shows how hygienic they are. You can always, uh, you know, put in your trash when you're done using it. And then, we are inside, inside one of government primary school in Mbappe. 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 Government primary school in Mbappe. Look at this, guys. <laughs> when I walk in here, I just walk in here, see this. 
gets me excited because I know what this is meant for. Let me, let me, let me show you what it used to do. We used to say, I'll give you five. Oh, okay, five minutes. One. Two. <laughs> Teacher will say, you have to be like this. Yes. Put your hands like this. And they're ripping you. And you don't have to take your hands. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to take your hands off here. If you take your hands off here, let me just try to do this. No, please don't try. <laughs> In all, it was a fun experience. We spent the entire day there. It was so fun, we didn't want to go back. We arrived at the island at 11 a.m. and left at 6 p.m. Honestly, I never knew such a place existed in Douala, and I had so much fun, from the boat ride to the food and ambience. It was such a good experience, and I would definitely be visiting again. If you are visiting Douala and want a little adventure, visit Mbappe. There are other islands closer to land than Mbappe. So if you are scared of going further into the sea, then visit Kumbu, which is just a stone throw from Mamanda and you will have the same experience. Please make sure you go with gifts like rice, oil, sugar or even cash. They will greatly appreciate you. A boat ride to and fro can cost between 20,000 to 30,000 francs, which is approximately 40 to 60 US dollars. We really want to thank Pajiram uh, for welcoming us in the yes. community. They were very nice. Everybody was friendly. We were really accepted. They gave us good help. We also food, had a good, good help, food, drinks, water, everything that we needed in here. And we also had a very good tour guide for the day. We enjoyed our time in here. And on behalf of the entire team, we want to say thank you so much. Have you visited any of the islands in Bonaberry? What were your experiences like? Let me know in the comments. And if you need any guidance, just let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching this video. Please share with your friends if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel.